Hi, this is Johnny. I'm your host at ultimatepapermache.com and today in this episode I want to introduce you to the fourth project that's going to be in my upcoming paper mache book called Make Animal Sculptures with Paper Mache Clay. And as you see, we've got a very nice little piggy here. Um, this spots were taken from a Kuni Kuni miniature pig. I just love those spots. Now, the pig project is just a little bit more complicated than the projects that we've done before. Um, it, you may think that the, the hard part is going to be making these legs. Um, he does have four legs and he does need to, to stand up on the table quite, quite nicely. But by this time, you would have already done the penguin and you know how the legs are attached, so that's not the problem. You also, because you had done the fish, which is the second project in the book, you already basically know how to make the ears because the fish's fins are made exactly the same way. Now, the difficult part, the real challenge of the pig is the face because we really do want Piggy to have a nice face. We want him to be fairly realistic and have nice eyes. And I'm very excited about the fact that I've discovered a fairly simple way to explain how to shape the armature so that when it comes time to add the clay, um, the, you, you already have the exact spot where you know the eyes are going to go. That's a really difficult part, uh, especially when you're starting out, is figuring out where do I put those eyes. Uh, the major planes of the face are already inbuilt because uh, you'll have put the padding on the pattern in, in just in a, exactly the right order. So you'll have uh, nice cheeks and his smile will already be built in before you ever add the clay. And of course you've got that cute little nose. And then, once you have the armature built, you just add your clay, as you always do. Make it nice and smooth, since piggies don't have much hair. <laughs> kind of like people in that way. Um, then paint him, and uh, I'll show you how I use glazes to get the almost translucent look on his pink skin. Rather than just painting him pink, which, um, which you can do, that works just fine, but I like the way the glaze makes it seem as though you're seeing pink through the skin, which is the way you uh, really see a pig in real life. So there we go. That is project number four. Uh, as you can see, it's a little bit more challenging. And tomorrow we're going to work up uh, to a begging dachshund. And the, the challenge with that dachshund is going to be getting him uh, into a position that's a bit more dynamic, giving him some twists and turns. And um, I'll show you that in the next episode. Thanks. I'll see you then.